I'm so happy that you're here with us at the clubhouse. My name is Liam. I'm Mia. And I'm Aria. And we are the, the Super Crew. Crew. And this is our friend Bark. Say hi, Bark. <laughs> we all brought something today to help us know more about each other. I brought my favorite storybook. I love to look at all the pictures inside it. What did you bring, Liam? I brought my toy helicopter. <laughs> All the gears and gizmos spin the propeller while it zooms through the air. What about you, Aria? I have an instrument. I love to sing and play music with my friends. <laughs> oh, Bark, you do love to play with your favorite toy, don't you? <laughs> it's great to know more about your friends. <gasps> Did you hear that? It sounded like the super box. Let's go see. Did you send us something super? Yes. yes! Here at the clubhouse, we help connect the super clue, the big deal, and the Bible. Today's big deal is, guess who? God knows me and you. Oh, let's see what's inside. Open it, open it, open it. Oh, this is a magnifying glass. I can use this to look closer at my toys and see small details. So, I wonder, how does a magnifying glass connect to, guess who, God knows me and you? Can you wonder with us? Oh, I think I got it. A magnifying glass helps us see things up close. God knows everything about us, even the tiny little details. He knows when we choose to make the right choice and the wrong choice. 
A wrong choice is when we choose to do things our own way instead of God's way. God sees when we make wrong choices and still loves us and is ready to forgive us. You're right. Today's big deal is guess who? God knows me and you. And just like a magnifying glass can zoom in and help us see the tiny details of something, God knows everything about us. He knows what we think, say, and do. He even knows the things like our wrong choices, and he wants to help us make the right choice. Now, be looking because you're going to see the super clue again. When you see the super clue, here's what I want you to do. Since our super clue is a magnifying glass, I want you to pretend you are looking at something really small with a magnifying glass. Can you try it with me? See the super clue, look through your magnifying glass. Great job! I know where we can learn about how God knows everything about us. Let's look in the Bible! Remember, the Bible is God's book. The Bible is true and it's for you. Today's Bible story comes from the book of Genesis. Can you say Genesis? Genesis. Genesis! Great job! In today's Bible story, we will learn about some people who made a wrong choice and how God stepped in. It's time for our Bible story. The Tower of Babel. Long ago, God sent a big flood that covered the earth. After the flood, people started over. Everyone in the world spoke the same language, and God told the people to spread out and move to other places of the world to make a home. Many people chose to do the wrong thing and disobeyed God. They chose to live in one place. The people chose to build a city so they could live together and not spread out to other places. They also built a tall tower that reached to the sky. They thought this would make them famous and seem very important. The people made bricks and began to build. God saw the city and the tower the people were building. He was not happy because he knew they were making a wrong choice. They were disobeying God by not doing what he said and spreading out over the earth. The people wanted others to see how great they were. They had forgotten to focus on how great God was. God saw the people and knew that as long as they spoke the same language and stayed together in one place, they would be able to do anything they planned instead of what God asked them to do. God knew their wrong choices and he made it so everyone spoke a different language and the people could not understand each other. They stopped building the city and moved away from each other to different parts of the earth. Whoa, what a story! So God knew the people made a wrong choice. They chose to do things their own way and not obey what God said. Because they disobeyed, God made it so that they could not understand each other and could not continue to build the tower. This caused them to move all over the earth. See, we all make wrong choices, and God knows about the wrong things we do, but God loves us and wants to help us make the right choice. God knows everything about me and you. He knows the right choices we make and the wrong choices we make. God knew we would make wrong choices. He sent his son, Jesus, so that we can be forgiven and have a friendship with God. God wants to help us make the right choice and get to know him more. Do you see something? It's our super clue. Do you remember what to do? Great job. A magnifying glass is used to help take a closer look at something. God sees when we make wrong choices and still loves us and is ready to forgive us. So, next time you see a magnifying glass, you can remember that God knows you, even those little details, and He loves you. And when you make a wrong choice, God is ready to forgive you and help you make the right choice. So... have learned that God knows me and you. God knows when we make a wrong choice and he will help us do the right thing. Eureka! That's a big deal. Let's say our big deal together. I'll say it first and then you say it after me. Guess who? Guess who? 
God knows me and you. God knows me and you. <laughs> Great job. God knows us, and He helps us even when we make wrong choices. It looks like Bark wants us to know he's ready to go play. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, thanks everyone for coming to the clubhouse today. We'll see you next time. Say bye, Bark. <laughs> bye. bye. Hey everyone, let's learn a verse from the Bible that tells us about the most amazing gift that was ever given. Remember, the Bible is God's book. The Bible is true and it's for you. Listen and watch me as we learn the Bible verse together. The gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 6, 23b. Great listening. Now, I want everyone to stand up so we can all say the Bible verse. I'll say it first, then you can say it after me. Ready? The gift of God The gift of God is eternal life is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 6.23b Romans 6.23b I love learning God's Word together. In this Bible verse, we learn that God has given us an amazing gift. He sent His Son, Jesus, so that we can have eternal life. That means we can live forever with God one day. Now, I want to hear you repeat after me nice and loud as we say the verse again. Here we go. The gift of God, the gift of God is eternal life, is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 6:23b. Romans 6:23b. Hooray! We can celebrate God and the amazing ways He loves us. God loves us so much, He sent Jesus for us so we can have a friendship with Him when we believe and trust in Him. Let's say the Bible verse one more time together. But do you think we can say it with a super tiny whisper? Ready? One, two, three. The, the gift, gift of God, God is, is eternal, eternal life, life in Christ, Christ Jesus, Jesus our Lord. Lord. Romans 6, 23b. That was amazing. I said, that was amazing. What an amazing gift that God has given to each of us. I can't wait to see you back at the clubhouse. Bye. Bye.